the Next Generation Air Dominance Program, commonly known as NGAD, represents the United States. Air Force's most ambitious step into the future of aerial warfare, a sixth-generation project designed to replace the F-22 Raptor and secure air superiority well into the mid-21st century. NGAD is not just a single fighter, but a family of systems built around a cutting-edge crewed aircraft that will serve as the command hub for advanced networks of drones, sensors, and weapons, giving the United States Unmatched flexibility in contested skies, reports, confirm that a full-scale demonstrator has already flown, proving new digital design and manufacturing techniques that accelerate development far faster than previous generations. At its core, the NGAD crewed fighter will deliver extreme stealth with next generation, radar-absorbing materials, extended range for operations across the vast Pacific, adaptive engines, capable of supercruise and efficient long-range flight, and advanced avionics that merge radar infrared electronic warfare and data links into a single fused picture for the pilot, Ola. Unlike today's fighters, NGAD will also coordinate loyal wingmen drones and manned aircraft flying alongside to carry extra missiles sensors, or even act as decoys multiplying the combat power of a single formation, while reducing the risk to human pilots. PR. The aircraft is expected to incorporate artificial intelligence for decision support, potentially even enabling optional unmanned operations in the future. And directed energy systems, such as high-power lasers, are being explored for missile defense and electronic attack. In early 2025, the program took a decisive step forward when Boeing was awarded the lead contract to develop the manned NGAD platform rumored to carry the designation F-47, a sign that the project has moved from concept and experimentation to actual development and production planning. The design emphasizes not only survivability and lethality, but also sustainability as cost and maintenance will be critical factors in producing enough aircraft to make a strategic difference against peer adversaries. In jets, role is to penetrate highly defended airspace, neutralize advanced threats, and serve as the linchpin of a larger combat system that includes long-range munitions, off-board sensors, and networked communications to ensure information dominance in real time. It's expected. Top speed is classified, but analysts believe it will reach Mach 2 or more, with a combat radius far exceeding the F-22 or F-35, designed specifically to meet the challenge of vast distances in the Indo-Pacific theater, Speckards. Weapons are expected to include the latest beyond visual range missiles, such as upgraded AIM-260JATM, precision-guided bombs, and possibly future hypersonic or directed energy weapons, carried in internal bays to preserve stealth. Despite its promise, NGAD faces hurdles in cost, engine maturity, software integration, and scaling production. But the program reflects the United States' recognition that control of the skies in the coming decades will require more than incremental improvements. It will demand a complete transformation of how fighters operate. When JD succeeds, it will redefine aerial warfare by merging human decision-making with autonomous support, stealth with overwhelming reach and platform-centric power with networked dominance ensuring that America maintains its edge in air. Superiority against any peer rival well into the future.